Hey, dear pooped out parents, uh, I have a quick tip today for those kids who are waking up god awful early in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning or earlier. Oh, that's just a horrible time of night. And I'm willing to bet that you would do anything to get your child back to sleep. The key is to look at what's causing them to wake up that early. So there are four causes of early rising. I'm gonna go through each of them. Too little nap time, too late a bedtime, going into bed too drowsy and too big of an awake window. Now there's a fifth one, which is sleep apnea, but I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So the temptation is to put your child to bed later. So hopefully they'll sleep later in the morning. It works exactly the opposite as you think it's going to. Overtiredness is the biggest culprit of early rising. So the key to getting ahead of it, get your child in bed earlier, uh, maybe they need an extra nap because they're awake so early. So if they're up at five, they're not going to, you know, if they're little, they're not going to be able to make it to a nine o'clock or later nap. So get them a little tiny bit of sleep as soon as they possibly need it and then get them on their regular nap schedule. Stay ahead of the second wind. The last one is that going into bed too drowsy. As adults, we have a bad image of what drowsy is. I mean, when we look drowsy, we're like falling asleep, right? Kids don't look that way. The way to know if your child is too drowsy is if they're falling asleep too fast. And that means in less than like 10, 15 minutes. I know it's sneaky, but if your child is getting into bed and falling right asleep, it's possible that bedtime is too late or you're doing too much to get them to sleep. So the two big solutions for early rising, uh, avoid overtiredness and make sure they're going into, into bed awake. That's it for today.